my name is Caitlin and welcome back to Kate Straight Up. This past Sunday was Mother's Day, so I asked my mom what recipe she would like to see on this Tuesday's video. She requested my bite-sized Maryland-style crab cakes, which is one of her favorites. I may not be a Maryland native, but I did go to college at Towson University in Maryland, and I think I got a good education on some good crab cakes. Without further ado, and by special request from my amazing mother, let's get started on our crab cakes. We're starting with two eggs beaten in a large mixing bowl and we're going to add about half a cup of mayo. I'm using this Hampton Creek Just Mayo just because I just recently found it in the store and really, really love it because it's non-GMO. Next, we're going to squeeze in a tiny bit of lemon juice and I like to put in some garlic paste just right into this bowl mixture here. Oop, I'm running out, gotta get it in. There we go. And now we're just gonna whisk it all together. Once you're done whisking your ingredients together, you're gonna add your lump crab meat. This I got from Whole Foods. It's just your standard lump crab meat. We're gonna add all that in. Make sure you pick through, make sure there's no shells. And then we're gonna add about a cup of green onion and a cup of red pepper. And this is gonna add some really nice fun color to our crab cakes. And I think our oven's preheated. Last ingredient before our spices is a cup and a half of panko breadcrumbs. And we're just gonna mix this all together and then add some spices. Next up, we're adding a dash or so of Worcestershire and a dash or so or malt vinegar into our mix. And now it's spice time. We are adding a little bit of paprika and a little tiny bit of cayenne pepper. After that, we're doing some dry mustard. Just get it all on in there. And some salt and pepper. Some salt and some black pepper. Last two ingredients, some garlic powder and some parsley. You're just going to mix this up really, really good. You might have to do another round of spices if you want a little light to start, but just get all of your ingredients really, really mixed together. We had about a pound, we had a full pound of crab meat in these cakes, so these crab cakes are mostly going to be crab meat. They are going to be delicious. You're just going to start breaking away tiny balls like that, rolling them up together, and then flatten them out to be a small patty. I don't like my patties too big because they cook nice just about at this size. You're just gonna place your patties on a baking tray because here's a little hint that I do with my crab cakes. I don't like to fry them up in heavy, heavy oil. To me, that takes away the taste of that delicious crab meat in there. So I like to just bake mine in a 375 degree oven sprayed with a little bit of either coconut oil or spray cooking oil. You get that same fried flavor without all that heavy oil taking away from your seafood. So just nice small patties like this onto a baking sheet and then into a 375 degree oven. These crab cakes baked for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then we cranked on that broiler to crisp them up a bit to make them look delicious like this. Here you go, Mom. I love you so much. You're my best friend in the entire world. Thank you for making an awesome request. If you have any questions about this video, anyone, do all that below this video. Of course, subscribe to Kate Straight Up for more fun recipes every Tuesday. Follow my mom's lead and make a request. And other than that, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.